Hi there, Mark here from Online Guitar Lessons and uh, in this video today I just wanted to share with you uh, a guitar which I discovered in my local music shop here in Spain recently. It's called an Entwistle EST100 and as you can see it's that familiar body shape for the uh, you know the guitar we all know and love, the, the Fender Strat. Um, the reason I really wanted to put this uh, video together was because this guitar's retail price was €199 Euros, and you know, I just wanted to show you how good a guitar can be that is, you know, basically a budget guitar. So in this video, I'm just going to show you around the guitar and then um, we'll have a look at how it sounds. So as you can see, it's, you know, pretty traditional in the way that the uh, neck and the heel join uh, onto the body there. And it's got all the usual things you'd expect. And it's got quite a nice contour shape, actually. Um, you know, it's quite a nice cut on the body there. The paint works really good, and um, you know, general fit and finish is really good quality. It's also got Wilkinson hardware, so the machines there all work nice and smoothly, which is one of the big issues with you know budget guitars generally. Um, tuning can be a bit of an issue because you know the machine heads are not amazing quality, and uh, also the action. Is pretty good. Um, obviously, it's quite difficult to show that from here. Um, and this guitar is just as it came out of the box from the shop. So the tremolo is set onto the body, um, and I personally prefer my tremolo to be floating a little bit. So I'm going to set that up. Um, it's got the Wilkinson hardware tremolo. So the sort of the mechanical bits, if you like. Um, are all pretty good quality and as you can see as well it's got these Entwistle pickups and I'll talk to you about those in a bit more detail when we hear the guitar. Okay so just a note as well about things like what to look for on a budget guitar um, detailing on the fretboard and things like this um, you know, it's very difficult to actually show that extremely close up to give you an idea but on some budget guitars, you'll get a limitation, you know, in terms of quality, which is, you know, to be expected. Obviously, if you're paying a thousand pounds or euros or dollars or whatever for a guitar um, compared to two hundred, then, you know, there's got to be some kind of limitation. But one of the things which a lot of budget guitars suffer from is really poor fret dressing. And uh, you know, sorry about the quality getting close like this. But if you run your fingers all the way up and down the side of the fretboard here and there's very little snagging which is a really good sign and, and do the same along the top edge here just to make sure there's no you know, particularly sharp edges or, or anything like that so if you're checking out a budget guitar you know the, the way it sounds is obviously important but the way it plays probably more so and you know there are limitations in everything but things like this are things to check for okay so, um, thank you, Cockerel. So, just uh, I'm not going to shut the windows because it's just so hot here in, in southern Spain at the moment. Um, so, sorry about all the if you hear the sheep, goats, cockerels, uh, or cats being dragged off by vultures, don't worry about it, it's all just part of life. Um, okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate uh, this is the distortion sound. <laughs> Okay, and that's on the good old bridge pickup there. So you've got, and then up to the neck pickup. Just so you can hear, obviously there's a difference. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't ordinarily play chords on the uh, the neck pickup with a distortion sound. And then over to the bridge. Now, those of you with good ears might sort of understand that tone to be a little bit sounding like a wah-wah and my understanding of the electronics on this guitar is that this tone pot is wired to uh, this bridge pickup which is unusual for a Strat style body um, or sorry a Strat style guitar because normally this goes direct out to the, the jack socket and not via the tone so here And it's something to do with the Entwistle uh, pickup configuration and a device that they're using on the, the tone controls, which is quite unique to this guitar. So it gives it a little bit of a, a different edge to your normal Strat style guitar. Um, 
Okay, and also just uh, uh, while we're here, the reason um, if you're looking at this video and thinking, oh, it's looking all over the place, I've got a new camera, uh, it's the first time I've used it, and so I'm just trying to figure out what the best settings are, uh, positioning and stuff like that, so I know that's nothing to do with the guitar, but if you've seen any of my other videos, um, you know, normally I'm in my studio, uh, I normally try and sort of get this, the shot set up correctly, uh, it's too hot to do anything in the studio at the moment, um, I can't have fans and stuff on because that's all you will hear. Um, so hence I'm in, in my living room and um, you know if, if, it's, if you're new to these videos of mine in, in my series then uh, hopefully the, you, you won't know any difference. So anyway let's have a listen to the guitar. So let's use the neck pickup for a bit of, uh, a bit of lead stuff. And if I roll the tone off on there. Okay, and another important thing about budget guitars, and I don't like saying budget guitar when I'm talking about this guitar because it's so phenomenal. Um, if it was four or five hundred, you'd probably go, yeah, that's about the right price. Um, things like the electronics normally suffer on a on a, a cheaper guitar. So, for example, one of the things to check is if you're playing uh, with the volume off and you wind the volume up. Normally, on a on a cheaper guitar, all of the volume comes in kind of bang like a switch straight away, and it doesn't roll on like you get on on a bit uh, better quality tone circuitry. So if I show you here, you can hear. So the volume's actually working, and it's on about three at the moment. Okay. So it's, it's actually quite an effective volume control, which makes a change, I've got to say. So you can have a bit of fun with the violining. Okay, so it's actually pretty useful for that. Um, so let's just go through the, the tones quickly. Neck pickup. Okay, middle pickup. funky tone there and this is the bridge with the tone all the way up okay so all together okay and now let's look at the out of phase so that's the fourth position there if you're not used to strat style guitars most of them now have five position switches so top goes there middle does the middle pickup, down, does the bridge as we call it, okay, because it's next to the bridge. Um, out of phase puts these two to give you that, that, together to give you that kind of funky strat sound, which gets lost a little bit on distortion, I have to say, but. And if we compare that to the other out of phase sound, which is with these two pickups working together. Okay, so you've got. And what I'll do is I'll just show you all these on clean as well in a second. So to compare all of the tones, got the bridge, out of phase with bridge and middle, middle pickup, neck and middle out of phase, and bridge. No, sorry, neck. Okay, now some of those might be too subtle to, um, you know, to differentiate between straight away, and that's because it depends on one how your amp is set up, and also the volume. You know, I've got the volume on about three or four still here. So if I just go through them all back to back, out of phase and this is going to be these two out of phase so there's some interesting variation on the tone um, you know there's there's subtleties on all of these tones um, a lot of it's down to how you have the amp set up for example if you've got um, you want to bring out some of the sort of the character of this out of phase sound then generally you'd have less bass and the, and the uh, the, the tone, uh, the treble, would bring out the difference in a, a bit more detail. Okay, so let's have a look at some clean sounds. Bit of Shadows style stuff, Hank Marvin, for you younger people, may not know him. Put that note 
in there, so it throws everyone off the scent. I don't want to get sued by their publishers for stealing their songs and, and playing them. Um, so let's try the, uh, the, the neck pickup. <laughs> Let's have a look at the middle pickup. Okay, so it's all pretty sweet. Um, that's the middle pickup with this tone rolled off. neck pickup as well so if you want some of those darker jazzier tones there you know that comes through well um, and let's have a look at the out of phase sounds phase and let's have a look at the other out of phase option which is the neck and the middle Ooh, did you see the way I changed key there without realizing and then when you go back to the other so as you can hear it's a little bit richer with these two there than these two oh, I changed key again so depending on what kind of tone you're after you know there's tons and tons of uh, choice out of any strat guitar to be honest but uh, you know we're looking at a budget 200 euro guitar which you know it's just so playable this is as it came out of the box later on I'm gonna set this up because I like my floating as I said earlier um, and I'm going to put some different strings on. I don't know what strings are on here, but um, you know, I'm probably going to put some tens on here. I think these must be nines. Um, so yeah, it's, what a thank you, more cockles. So uh, a great range of tones, and um, you can even go for that. <laughs> Who's, who better than to finish the video with than a Nile Rogers lick? The old. Timmer songwriter. See you in a bit. Thanks for watching.